Close your mouth. Turn around. So we're just taking some precautions. Put some sunscreen on Emma. Just some banana boat. It's uh, 50 SPF. And then Natropel Mosquito Antic Repellent. With it being summer, of course, ticks are always going to be bad. And of course, mosquitoes. So today is June 21st, the day of the summer solstice, which marks the day of the beginning of summer. So in the spirit of that, we are going to be reviewing a tent. This is the Featherstone Ultralight Granite two-person tent. So I'm going to uh, start to get this tent set up, and I will tell you guys all about it. Stay tuned. So I'm going to get this uh, tent taken out. Of course, it's in this giant stuff sack. Get this cut off. going to be doing an overnight camp. I do have my daughter with me. This is a two-person tent, so I thought it would be fitting to bring another person to test out the space. This is going to be our first camp together. This tent has multiple ways to set it up. I have taken it out and tested it out because I think it's a smart thing to uh, test out your gear before you actually go out to use it. Or, well, you could find yourself in some predic predicaments. I'm just going to get this all taken out of here. A cool thing about this tent I can get it up here. It does come with this nylon strap. This little cam buckle on there. This holds everything together. It makes it a lot easier to put up when you are packing the tent away. Which I absolutely love that because everybody knows that's the hardest part about tents is trying to get them to go back in their stuff sacks when you're done with them. Just saying. So I'm going to get this rolled out. So we've got three bags. This one holds the aluminum stakes to the tent. This is the uh, aluminum pole setup. I'll show you guys this in a minute. It's not like um, how some tents have multiple poles. This is just one. It is very unique. Quite nifty. I like that. And this tent does happen to come with a footprint. A lot of tents do not, which I do like that. The current tent that, uh, well, I'm probably replacing it with this one, but uh, the, my former tent did not have a um, footprint. So when that happens, you end up having to either use nothing, which is not really recommended because you can uh, tear your um, tent, which would suck. So, of course, you know, you'd end up having to take some kind of tarp or whatever you wanted to use as a ground cloth, which I usually end up having to take like a 10 by 10 heavy duty tarp or medium duty, but still, it adds a lot of weight having to do that. And this is a uh, lightweight footprint, so it's quite nice. So I'm going to get this set up. I would also like to mention anybody who has like maybe coming to find this video in order to figure out how to set this up. The stuff sack does have the instructions on the inside. That's that big tag that's in there. It has the setup and setup instructions just in case you need something just to look at. So once you got the footprint laid out, 
you're going to stake it down with these aluminum stakes. You'll need four to do that. You have a total of 12 stakes. So I'm going to get that staked out. Just need four of those. So there are two ways that you can set up the tent. You can either set up the tent body and the rain fly or the foot footprint and the rain fly for an ultralight setup. What I'm going to be doing, since I'm kind of just uh, showing this, I'm going to actually set up everything all together just so you get a feel for how everything uh, actually sets up. So right now I've got the footprint set up. But I'm also going to go ahead and set up the body of the tent so you guys can see that. I'm going to set that up. This is an awesome tent. It gives you lots of great options. If you want to go lightweight, you can. If you don't care, you don't have to go lightweight. It just depends on your preference. But I'm going to move on to the second part. The next thing that we are going to do, we are going to strip out the tent body. I'm going to lay it on top of the footprint. Get that stretched out. We've got the tent body. We've got the tent body stretched out, so now we're going to have to stake that down. Traditionally, what you would do, you would either not use the tent body and just use the rain fly with the footprint, but just to kind of show you guys how this all sets up, I'm going to show you everything staked out because you wouldn't use the uh, footprint if you were just using the body by itself because you would do the body and then the uh, rain fly as well. But I'm going to get the tent pole system out so I can show you guys what that looks like. So this is the tent pole system. It's pretty crazy. It's not, you know, like multiple poles that you have to run through five million different loops. It's pretty nice. Basically, when you're putting this together, you start stretching it out, it pretty much puts itself together, which is really nice. It's not all complicated. You can kind of hear it all snapping in place. Just kind of got to stretch it out. It's really simple. Very, very simple. So what you basically end up with is kind of a, uh, stretch this out some more. You've got the two poles right here. You've got this one in the middle. And these two right here. It almost kind of has this antenna look to it. Like one of the old school TV antennas. So I'm going to show you guys. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. It's pretty awesome. It's really easy to set up. So since I'm using the footprint as well, when traditionally you would not, I'm going to stake down the tent body to the same stakes. So 
I'm going to go ahead and get the tent pole system set up. This is also super easy. This is a freestanding tent. So I'm just going to put this in the end of the grommet. So now what I've done, each of these individual clips, all you do is clip it to the aluminum poles system. Every one of those, and this right here, all you have to do is run this pole across here. Just right through those grommets on either side to stretch out the tent. And that is the body of the tent. As I said before, you wouldn't use the uh, footprint. I mean, I guess you could if you wanted to. For extra, extra protection for the body of the tent if you wished. But normally it would just be the uh, body and the rain fly or the rain fly and the uh, footprint. One of the nice features about the tent body, it has a bathtub constructed Oxford nylon floor. See it comes to just a little bit below the door so that will prevent any flat, any splash if it happens to rain. is really nice. You have the you have the nylon mesh. You might not be able to see on you can see it right there. It's kind of a glare, but you can see in there so it is quite breathable. And the nylon mesh will prevent any critters, bugs, insects from getting in there. So if you knew it was going to be a rain-free night or anything like that, then you could rock this without the rain fly, at least in my opinion. I kind of think that you could actually use this more ways than is listed. Honestly, you could probably use this without the rain fly. Of course, you know, you want to do all that on a night when you know there is no possibility of rain. It will be very breathable. Get you lots of fresh air so you won't get too hot, especially if it's in the summer. You've got the one pole aluminum hub system. Super nice. You don't have to worry about fiddling, trying to stick poles through little tiny loops and getting them stretched through there. That is so difficult to do. It's quite annoying, time consuming. Makes this a great tent. You've got two large doors. You have a door on each side. So if you do have two people, you both have an entryway. So you have to get up in the middle of the night to go to the restroom. Then you don't have to climb over the other person. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put on the rain fly for the simple fact that I want to show you guys how it is set up. And right now in Oklahoma, we've been dealing with crazy weather. One day it's uh, 100 degrees and perfectly fine. Then you're dealing with tornadic weather, rain, which is going to be happening tomorrow evening. But there may be some rain tonight, so I'm going to put this on there just to be safe. So let's get this part set up.
So now what we are going to do, I'm going to fasten these clips. This is going to attach the rain fly to the body of the tent. There are four clips total. There is also clips located on the uh, footprint as well. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to tighten down each side. Now that I got those buckled and tightened down, I'm going to stretch out the rain fly and I'm going to stake these down as well. You gotta be careful not to accidentally stake the zippers down. This will also create your vestibule. I've got the rain fly stretched out away from the tent. That'll help it breathe a little bit easier. Pulling it out like this does create a vestibule. That way you do have a place to put gear. If you don't choose to have it inside the tent with you. It creates a space between the tent and the rain fly. The rain, fly, the rain fly does also have these windows. So all you have to do is fold that out. There's this little piece right here. Stretch that out and just pop the window open with that. It gives you some ventilation right there. There is one of those on both sides of the rain fly. Helps out quite a bit. Who doesn't love some ventilation during the summer? See that just pops that open. This does have guy lines on the outside. That way you could stretch this out more if you wanted to. Just help out more with the uh, ventilation. A few quick specs about the rainfly. It is 75 denier ripstop polyester. It has the benefits of sagging less when exposed to water and a reduction in the need to retaut during the night. There is reflective material around the vents, which is right here. and also around the vestibules. This will help easier spotting during the night. Here's a peek at the tent from the bottom. 
course you're gonna have runoff from the rainfly, but anything that splashes is most likely not gonna get in the tent due to the bathtub construction. The uh, bathtub construction, the floor of the tent, is 210 denier Oxford nylon. So overall it has great construction and is well thought out. Accessories, you have the 12 aluminum stakes, which are used to stake out, I've used to stake out the tent and the rain fly. Of course it comes with the footprint, which is a great accessory since most tents do not come with footprints. It does also come with extra guy lines, which are made just like these right here. So if you want those to be able to see your tent more easily because they are reflective, or if you just want to do some more tie outs. You have those to help. But so far overall this is a great setup. Of course I'm going to be testing it out tonight. We are spending the night out here. Emma is going to be camping as well. You don't need that. This is Emma's first time camping with me by herself. Can you say hi to everybody? It's actually going to be her birthday coming up shortly. Hey Emma, how old are you? Three. How old are you about to be? Three. No, you be four. Four. Yep, but so far I've really liked this tent. It's a very easy setup, multiple ways. She said she likes it too. Multiple ways to set this up. You can go lightweight ultra lightweight depends on your personal preference so far it's excellent I'll uh, take you guys inside it uh, shortly after I get my gear in it and then uh, we can see how much room is in there as well this girl is such a tomboy I have told her I don't know how many times to get her shoes on she just looks at me like why why? She is quite muddy too. She's been playing in the mud. You like playing in the mud? Mm -hmm. Why? Mm. She got distracted. Where you going? She sees people I think. We're about to actually get dinner started. It's been a crazy day, I'll tell you about it in a minute, but I'm gonna go get a fire started so we can cook dinner. So finally we are sitting down. It's been a crazy evening. So I've been planning this camping trip for like a month now. And lo and behold, there's supposed to be torna tornadic weather tomorrow evening. So, you know, it's crazy. This late, tornado season usually does not go this late. Usually not after May. And we've just had the craziest weather, like, ever in Oklahoma. We don't have this much rain in June. Like, it, it's just, it's been ridiculous. Um, Emma's over here. This is the first time we're getting to camp together. You want to say hi? Hi. We're camping with the fire. Yeah, we got a little fire going. A little bit difficult since everything has been so wet. Brought a little bit of firewood, not much. We're not, like, needing fire to stay warm, so I just brought it for dinner. So we are going to cook some dinner. We have not got to eat, eat yet. Got the tent set up over there. When we got here, we were the only people here, and then there were some guys that came here fishing. They left, and they came back. So they're over there camping. I can't see if I have them in 
you or not, but they're actually out on that little jutted piece of land or whatever. It's like a little peninsula or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Oh, but, um, I love fishing when they're going fishing. Huh? Um, but I love fishing with, with some people. If you were in the firewood and the tin. I'm sure you don't remember. We don't fish anymore, but I'm sure Emma doesn't remember any fishing because she would have been a, a little tiny, tiny baby. If she does, then she's like has the mind of a genius or something. I don't know. But we brought the little ice chest over here with us. I just brought it to keep some stuff cold. It's been ridiculously hot today. So basically, the humidity was so bad today that the weatherman said that if it had been any cooler, there would have been fog. Like, all right. Interesting. So, what we're going to be, ha what are we going to have for dinner, Emma? Mm. Mm. Patty, Patty, and, uh, I brought some uh, plant based, there's some vegan patties. Patty, to you want to get it out for me? Patty? Yeah. I'm going to be having these. Just making some little burgers. Have some buns down here. Somewhere. I may have left them in the deep. Have to go get them. Yes. Got some vegan cheese. That's delicious stuff. Chow. Careful. What'd you do? Brought some bell peppers to slice up. I love grilled bell peppers. Emma hates them. So that's a me thing. Are you okay? No. What'd you do? I heard it. You want me to kiss it? Yeah. Is it better now? Vegan cheese. Yeah, vegan cheese. I don't think you've ever had vegan cheese, but mm, I love to try out, huh? Awesome. It's, it's not cooked. i got to cook them. See? That's what they look like. Can I smell some? Oh, yuck! So, I'm going to grill that up. Got a cast iron skillet today. Awesome. So, oh, yeah. garden fresh vegetables from a family member's garden. Put those back in there so they stay cool, please. Sure. You don't have to get everything out. Yeah, we got Emma some almond milk. Go put that back, please. Okay. I'm going to try to get some stuff set up and I'll be right back. <laughs> got one of the patties heating up. Here's one of the buns. I think I'm going to cut this in half and try to like toast it. <laughs> Emma's upset about a paper towel burning up. I don't know why. Just a, I don't know. <laughs> Was the paper towel your friend? Yeah. I figured. That's sad. You know there's more paper towels in the Jeep, right? Yeah. I can't have one. Hold on, Emma. We'll just throw these in here in there real quick. See if we can want to toast them or something. Don't make fire in there. Girl, they're not going to catch on fire. Emma's like, I don't know, anti-fire right now. She's upset about the paper towel burning up. <laughs> What's wrong? The paper towel. Aww. You know there's more paper towels in the Jeep? Yeah. I want that to come back. I want to catch on fire. <laughs> 
It's okay. I think she'll be better after she eats. Will you be better after you eat? Okay, maybe not. Mwah! Can you blow me a kiss? So now we're gonna put a piece of the vegan cheese on there. And if you're wondering, yes, it will melt. I get one. It's vegan chow. It's a vegan chow. Mm hmm. She's a little smarty pants. She thinks she's like 20. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm to be turning three. No, you're to be turning four. You better be a birthday girl. No, I'm turning three. No, you are three. That's a locust. Where is it? I don't know. Can you go find it in the woods? Mm-mm. Why? You about to eat? Yeah. Hey, what are you picking on me for? Let's focus. I'm blow on it. Ah, oh, that's hair. God. I just keep windy out here. Ah! That's bacon. I like bacon. There's no bacon on there. You're a drama queen. I see something. Yes, they're not. Now they're going in the truck. See, now they're leaving. Are they? Yeah. Finally eating. So, Emma, can you tell everyone what you think? Uh, it's good. Is it? Yeah. I got. Uh, what, what, um, ah, there's a choke. I got a roll, greens, mustard, and a vegan thing, and a, and a little, and a roll, and I got an onion, and, and we got people, then we got, and I got my water. Oh. And then we got some campfire. Cool. Yeah, it's been a long day, but this is this is actually a really good burger. There's just I guess there's something about cooking on a campfire, or maybe it's the cast iron. I don't know. It's totally different than grilling these at home. This is delicious. Well, I don't like mine. So on the way in here, we drove right past a fireworks stand, so I had to turn around. Emma hasn't really done any fireworks. Well, yeah, she has never done fireworks, but so I just got some, like, really simple stuff. 
So we're gonna try one out. Yeah, that's exactly what it's doing. That's funny. So I'm going to show you guys the outside of this real quick. Of course it is dark now. Just wanted to show you the reflective parts of it. So that it can easily be seen. Right here around the uh, windows right there. The guy lines are reflective and right here around the vestibule. It is very easy to see. It's easier to see it in person than it is on camera, but I mean you can see the clear white looking stripe. That is the reflective part. That's not white, that's just reflective. So kind of shine the light off. Emma, please move. I'll shine the light off of it a little bit and you can see what I'm talking about. See? So the inside of the tent, it's quite roomy. You got enough room for two people, one on each side. You have a little bit of room at the end if you want to put gear. You not, might not be able to if you have two people who are tall or something but you would be able to put it out in the vestibule of course it would get wet but if it rained but you would still have extra room right out there on both sides but it's quite roomy I like it and you also have a hook up top to hang a lantern which is what I've done You've got your windows to get some fresh air. Of course, the rain flies out from the tent. Several methods of setting it up, but I like it. It's an awesome tent. Definitely one that I will continue to use. I am quite pleased with it. I'm in here. Yep. Yeah. Well, we had a bunch of clouds roll in while we were sleeping. Been up for a little while now. This one doesn't like waking up. You have my glasses on? Yeah, she's wearing my sunglasses. These are literally the only <laughs> ones I'll buy. I don't know. I just like those. They put my face well. I hate when glasses like stick out from my face. I like them to fit close. It's like a tight feel. Anyway, I'll talk about those some other time. But <clears throat> so the tent. Yeah. So how did you sleep in the tent, Emma? Huh? How did you sleep in the tent? Good. 
You slept good? Yeah. I'm looking in the chain tracks. So everything held up well. It was very windy last night. Very, very windy. Now, with that said, this rainfly does help block wind like no other. So this would, in my opinion, this would be great to use during the winter so you can block those harsh winds. Because with this whole thing around here, there's nothing getting in. Of course, you have a little bit of uh, ventilation right there. But as far as just straight winds, nothing's getting in. But with that said, bees are really easy. Like if you have this stretched out, that's really easy to open up if you need to. To get more ventilation, which we did last night because... It was windy, but it was still hot, so we had to open that up. So we opened that up to get some fresh air, and then we fell asleep and slept for the rest of the night. Lots of room in there. I would say this is a probably no more than a two-person tent. You might be able to get one more person. I see. Go throw that in the trash. You might be able to get one more person in there, but it would be a tight fit, so probably not recommended during the summer. But, it's great. No complaints whatsoever about it. Oh, well, I would like to come back out sometime when I know we are for sure not expecting any rain. And just use the tent body by itself. With the, uh, well... Yeah, just the tent body, just so I'd be able to kind of sleep out in the stars. Since the whole thing is uh, mesh, I would like to experience that and see what that's like. I think that would be pretty cool. Emma's over there playing with the ice. But this tent is awesome. I absolutely love it. Uh, two person, it's the Featherstone Ultralight Granite. Of course, uh, there are multiple ways to set it up, so you'd have the option of going ultra ultralight if you wanted to, depending on how you want to set it up. There's two ways to set it up, of course, but I've also found you know you can set it up other ways if you want to. So, in reality, I think it has more than just those two ways. It holds up great. I love it. You like the tent, Emma? How was your first time camping with Mama? Um, okay. You're dirty? You eat nice? Mm -hmm. You like ice? How's your first time camping? She likes playing in the dirt. <laughs> yeah, this is the... This isn't her first time camping, but this is the first time she ever, she's actually going to get to remember it. Because the last time she went camping is when she was a baby. Due to the whole work thing. But the last time we got to take her camping was... There's a video where I have it on my channel somewhere. It's uh, I'm not sure how old she, how old she was then. She was old enough to walk around, but I doubt she remembers that. Yeah. She was probably like two, somewhere around there. But as you can see, storm clouds are here, so we are going to get headed out. Start getting things packed up. What's wrong? Nice. Got to get all this taken care of. I drain this. There's a little drain plug at the bottom. You just unscrew that to drain everything. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh, just got to go take care of business. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye-bye!